宝清法主讲者五，净妙翻译者 Mr. Jerome William McCarthy Index 目录 Chapter One Why are they congratulating me on receiving the Tao? 第一章为什么他们恭喜我求得天道 Chapter Two What is the Tao? 第二章，蛇模式到 Chapter Three. What are the three treasures? 第三章，何谓三宝 Chapter Four. Why do the introducer and the sponsor take an oath at the altar? 第四章，为什么银宝要立愿 Chapter Five. Why I should take an oath before receiving the Tao. 第五章，为什么要立求道愿 ？Chapter Six: How to save human beings. 第六章，如何求度众生 ？Chapter One: Why are they congratulating me on receiving the Tao, ladies and gentlemen? I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to you for this is your most auspicious day. Today you have received the Tao, which is the ultimate aim of existence. All of the Buddhas and saints attained the Tao in the past, and by transcending the limitations of birth and death, have become immortal. That which you have received today is the same Tao. Formerly. One who intended to receive the Tao had to abandon worldly possessions and enjoyments. If he was a king, he had to abandon his kingdom. If he was a high official, he had to resign his high position, leave his family, and go to the remote mountains to seek a master who would transmit the Tao to him. After much suffering, he would gradually perfect his conduct, purify his mind and heart, and perform many good deeds. For his sincerity, God would send Buddha to transmit the Tao to him. Under such conditions, a person able to succeed was hard to find. During that period, the Tao was secretly transmitted from one patriarch to another. 第一章，为什么他们恭喜我求得天道？各位先生、太太、小姐，首先让我衷心的恭喜你们，因为今天是你们大喜的日子。今天你们得了道。道是至宝，道超出了一切。每一位古圣先贤、佛祖，皆于古代求得天道，故他们能超出生死之界限而永存。今天你们所得的道，即同他们其实所得的道一样。在古时。人要得到，必须弃他在世界上所拥有之一切与享受。假如他是一位皇帝，也必须弃他的江山；假如他是一位大，他必须舍弃他的爵，离开家人，入深山寻访能够指点他途径。传授大道给他的名师，在他经历了千辛万苦之后，同时已将凡心修炼成佛心，并以达至圆满之行为，以及做了许多善事，在他至诚之下，终于感动上天之心，派仙佛来指点。传授大道给他，在如此之情况下，成功者非常稀少。在那时，道是由一代祖师秘传给下一代祖师。Today we need not go to the remote mountains in order to cultivate ourselves. 
we may find the means to do so in our own environment. Therefore we must take full advantage of our fortunate circumstances because we are in close proximity to the Tao. Why is the Tao so accessible to us at this time? It is because mankind is facing great calamities which signal the destruction of the human race. What is the cause of these calamities in this modern age? Most people blindly worship technical science and neglect spiritual harmony. They believe that the power of mankind can surpass nature and that science is almighty and can solve all human problems. It would seem as though conscience or soul are only religious terms and have no real existence. Most people do not recognize their true selves which are indestructible and immortal. Actually, the true self is the master of the mortal body. Today most people have lost their consciences, harming others in order to benefit themselves. Those evils which human beings are now committing will cause great disasters the likes of which had never been witnessed before. This will be the final calamity in which the human race, the immortals of space, and the ghosts in hell will all be destroyed. 然而，现在我们不需要到深山去，而我们亦莫修行。何以我们能如此容易就得到这事？因为时代不同了。现在人类面对劫难之来临，末劫就要来到，末劫将会毁灭全人类。劫难是怎样造成的？原因是在此新世纪，多数的人们共盲目崇拜科学，而不注重心灵的完善。他们相信人类的力量能超出大自然，科学是高于一切，科学是万能，科学能解一切人类之问题。而良心、灵性仅是宗教之名词，它永不能实现。人们不认识真理。真理是我们之良心、道心、真我本体，它不不灭，万古长存，它是主持而我一生之主人翁。如今世上的众生，大多数失去了真正的良心，他们造一切之罪恶，因此造成了空前绝后之浩劫。我们称它为末劫，在此浩劫中，不仅全世界的众生，同时起天的大千、地府的鬼魂，都要受劫灭。However, God, of whose essence we are created, is merciful and compassionate and does not desire that the good people be destroyed along with the evil ones. So God has provided that the Tao be disseminated among mankind and has sent the great teachers, Buddha Shikha and Bodhisattva Yui, to rescue the three kinds of beings the immortals of space, human beings, and the ghosts in hell so that they may return to heaven together. Buddha Shikha and Bodhisattva Yui are under the command of God and are responsible for transmitting the Tao to the three kinds of beings. Their duty is to manage the work called the Last Salvation. This salvation is formless and soundless, and the transmission is performed without preaching. 
it directly points out the original nature conscience or soul of mankind in order that people may realize their true nature and thereby become enlightened. 是非常的慈悲一部忍善恶惧本因此降下真道并爱明师地公活佛与月会菩萨降世挽救三曹弃天之大天世界的众生地府的鬼魂同反天堂我们师尊师母二位老大人奉老母的命令真传真手普渡三曹他们的责任是办理末后一收元大事不利人子教外别传直指人心直指人人不有之良心灵性是人们见自信而成佛 when the last calamity arrives, nothing can save mankind except the true way, which is the Tao sent from God. That is why the Tao is widely propagated today to save good people. Ancient people first cultivated themselves and then received the Tao. But today we receive the Tao first and then cultivate ourselves. Therefore, after we have received the Tao we have to seriously cultivate ourselves. Then we shall automatically be safe from danger. Escape from calamities. Avoid reincarnation and become saints and Buddhas. 当末节灵头时，没有任何其他方法可以解救众生，除上帝所降下的唯一之道。因此，现在大道普渡善男信女，古人是先修后的，先修道然后才得道。现在我们是先得后修。因此得道以后，我们要真正修道，将来自然能逢凶化吉，堕劫彼难超生了死，成圣成佛。Although it is easier for modern people to receive the Tao than it was for past generations. The ability to receive the Tao also depends on each person's condition and background. Today you receive the Tao because you had an affinity with our temple and you and your ancestors had performed many virtuous acts. Possibly you were cultivated in a religion in your previous lives. These conditions allow you to have an affinity for the Tao. Without this affinity you would never receive it. 虽然今人比古人更易得到,然而亦是一个凭各知根基缘分。今天你们得到皆因与佛有缘,前世有行善积德,祖天有德。也许前世有修过五大宗教或其他宗教,因此使你们今天有缘得到,否则将永不能得到. Chapter 2 What is the Tao ladies and gentlemen? You have received the Tao today, but what did you actually receive? What is the Tao? The Tao is the source of everything. Tao is the creator and master of the universe. Tao is God the supreme power. Before the earth and sky existed, before the creation of the universe, the Tao existed. After the universe is annihilated and nothing remains, 
the Tao will continue to exist and to create and control a new universe. The Tao is limitless, invisible and formless. It cannot be seen, heard, smelled or touched and is beyond the power of human comprehension. Tao activates everything. Yet we cannot see its action. It works without effort, yet nothing left undone. Man usually calls it nature. Nothing can exist without the Tao because everything depends on it. Tao is God and our soul issues from God as essence. We are God as children. 第二章，蛇魔是道，各位，今天已经得到究竟的的是蛇魔，蛇魔是道，道是天地人万物之母，道是宇宙之本源，创造者以及主宰者，道上帝，道至尊至贵之神，当天地还未生之前。一切都未有之前，道已先存在的。当天地毁灭后，道不毁灭，道能再生天地人万物。天地人万物生成了，道其中主宰。道非常奥妙，道无形无相，视而不见，听而不闻，不可嗅，不可捉摸。道超出了人们的想象力而不思议，亦不可言说，一切皆是道所为。然而，我见不到道的动作，道是无为而为的，然一切莫不是道所为。人们常称它为自然。假若无道，任何一物不能存在。因为一切都依靠道而的存，道上帝，我们之灵性是上帝所赐，我们是上帝之儿女，上帝是我们之天。When we speak of the creator of the universe, we call it Tao. When we speak of the ruler of everything, we call it natural law. When we speak of the animating and controlling principle of our being, we call it soul or conscience. When we speak of the creator of our soul, we refer to the heavenly mother. In Chinese, she is called Lao Mu. All I left the above are one and the same. 当我们从它作为宇宙之本源而言。称它为道，在它作为一切之主宰而言，我们称它为理。当它在我们体内，使我们生存并支配肉体时，我们称它为灵性或良心，因为它赋予我们本性。我们称它为老。这些名称虽异而其义相同，皆指同一物而言。Now, what you have actually received is the Tao. Tao is everybody as true self. Today you have been initiated by the teacher and the door of your mind has been opened. Now you are able to understand that the body is not your true self. The body is controlled by the Tao within you. Now, you are 而灵性才是真正的你，那位无形无相的。然而，在支配你的身体的灵性，才是真正的你自己。
while you are alive your soul dwells within your body. As soon as the soul leaves your body you are dead. Your soul is from God, but your physical body is from your parents. You already had the Tao within you yet did not realize it. Therefore, you have had to search for it and had now been fortunate enough to find a teacher who was able to transmit it to you. Previously you believed that the physical body was your true self and behaved accordingly. You were selfish, committing misdeeds, acts of violence, and overindulging in physical pleasures. This condition repeatedly led you into a reincarnation and endless sufferings. Now you understand that your true self is not your physical body but only use the body as a vehicle. You are not limited to this physical body. You are boundless. You are the master of the universe because you have God as essence within you. You are full of mercy and love because you share of God as spirit. Most people today have forgotten all these spirits.